Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch. I'm getting ready for Moodle for Teachers Moodle MOOC 15, which is going to start in June. In this MOOC, there's going to be two users. One user will be learning how to Moodle as a teacher and manager of a course, and the more advanced Moodlers will be able to learn how to be the managers of a Moodle site or the admins of a Moodle site, which is uh, what I'm doing here on Novio. So here you are, the manager. I've created an account. I've showed you how, and there's a video added to this one so you can see how it was done. Next, I'm going to go into the admin. So that's the next step because I want to change my password. So let me go into profile because they gave me a password that I want to change. Notice there are ads and you can pay if you don't want to see the ads. Okay, here are the options. It's called donation, which is really, really kind of Novio. Okay, so uh, here I am and um, I want to change my password. So I go into edit profile right here. And then there's my username. I wouldn't change that if I were you. You can add your real name if you like, or just keep it admin. Okay, surname user. And then uh, let me continue here. All right, you can add a description if you like. You don't have to. It's up to you. And of course, um, that's uh, the information. And now for the password okay so i'm going to add a new password i don't want to force password change i'm just going to add my password here so uh here goes so that i can go in i don't have to remember their password all right and then scroll down of course and update you can also have okay let me just uh, continue here a photo for yourself as i said but I'm going to show you something a little cooler than that. Okay, so while it's getting there, it's being saved or updated there. Okay, now it's done. Okay, let me show you uh, how I can add an image by default. Now this is done through the get Gravatar. So let me go into site administration, add Gravatar. Okay, you can register your site, but you don't have to. So here I'm in the administration, and I am going to write Gravatar. Okay, so notice here I can enable Gravatar. So I'm going to pop over, and here I'm going to add the image once I get it. Okay, so let's pop over to Gravatar. Okay, that's uh, WordPress. So let's do that now by clicking here. Let's leave that for now. Let's go there. Okay, so here I am on Gravatar. I'm going to sign in. I've got lots of images. So um, let's add an image, add a new image. Okay, so I'm going to uh, go into my system. So there's my image. I'm going to click on crop. I think it's the right size. And then, uh, of course, I'm going to set the rating. It's fine. And then uh, I'm not going to use it for any email right now so let me just go back to the gravatars or my images now i'm going to click on the right of the mouse so i can get copy the image address okay got that then i'm going to go back into the course which is here somewhere okay and then instead of the mm i'm going to add there the png which is the code save the changes and now instead of the default let me i forgot to click there so let me just there default yes okay that's going to be the default so you'll see my image changing at the top right there did you see that let me there it is okay so now my image is there okay that's my gravatar according to my email the gravatars go with your email but anybody else who comes to the site will see the default one which is what i showed you before it's going to be uh, this Gravatar, okay? It's going to be that one.
Okay, not with this email. I don't want to change that. All right, so let's see what else we can do. So we've got the Gravatar. That's always the first thing I do. I know it's kind of crazy, but I like that. I don't like when they're kind of ghosts on the site. Okay, so site administration. Let's see what's here. Okay, what's available? What do you have here and what don't you have? Okay, because I have a few Moodle sites. I also have a server if you're interested. So this is what I have. Okay, I've got uh, users, courses, grades, plugins. So let's see what I can do with the plugins as the admin because I am limited. Okay, so let's see if I can change the appearance, the theme, and what the possibilities are. So notice here with the plugins, I cannot add new plugins. I want that to be clear. Okay, as the admin of a regular Moodle site hosted by a paid server, you can add the plugins of your choice. So right now, these are the plugins that are available. This is it. This is what you have. And that's it. All right. So let's see what we can do here. There are some really good ones. Authentication. Notice they took some out. Okay. So it's limited. Let's go into appearance and see what I can add here. Okay. To see if I can change the appearance, which I usually like to do. So let's see what we have here. We've got themes. And notice what themes are available. Artvarak, Adaptable, which is quite nice. Um, okay, so that's what's available into the theme selector. Okay, very important. Because even though you set it up, it's not there. Okay, the default is there. And notice what happened here. So let's try it again. Theme selector. There we go. All right, so right now the default is the boost, and I want to change it. So I'm going to go into Change Theme. Click on that. And remember, I wanted the um, this one. You can take a look at them and see what they look like and decide for yourself. I am sure that Essential doesn't work. If Essential works, it's mean it means that it's 3.6 and not 3.8 because that's when essential stopped so if essential works it means that this is definitely yeah this is not 3.8 because it shouldn't be compatible all right so let's um let's um change um the colors. I like um, Essential. But that's how you change the theme. Let me go back. That's how you change um, the theme. So I, if I want to use this one, I'll click on that one and then I'll be able to change that one. Okay. That's how you do it basically. All right. So um, notice I lost the Gravatar for some reason. Okay, and then you continue. There we go. And then you change it for the legacy. Okay, choose it again. There are a few of them, right? There are a few. Um, okay, and then go into that one. What I want to show you is that there's the mobile also. You want to change each and every one of them. So we're choosing the same one. Takes time. Working on a Moodle site does take time. So let me know if you're interested in getting your courses on integrating technology, and then you won't have to work so hard. Okay, so we've got it up. Okay, we just have to change the colors later on. And notice um, the Gravatar is not working right now. Here, let's clear the cache so that everything is nice. All right, so let's go back into the admin. I'm going to write Gravatar. You search for things by writing them. Okay, Gravatar. And there it is. So um, it should be working. I don't know why it's not. Okay, so I'm also setting my time zone to um, Toronto. That's important. As I said, there's a lot of work involved. 
I do this quite quickly. There it is. You can select country. You can also make these your default, but I don't usually do that. There we go. Okay, you can also add your user picture if you like. Okay, let me add that. Since we've got the Gravatar, that should have worked. Um, I don't know what happened when I changed the, uh, the theme. It took me out of there for some reason. All right, so uh, that's what this theme looks like. I'm not sure that I like it. I may want to change it. As I said, it's a lot of work getting the theme up there. I also want to get some social networks here. And that you can actually do. Um, and let me just show you where that's done. Okay, so let's go back to the administration. I'm going to write um, again. I'm going to write theme because that's where it is. And I'm going to add my social networks or at least show you where I do it. So under theme here on the left, Okay, under site administration, I'm going to go into appearance and then under themes, okay, you can add your logos here depending on what theme you're on so you don't add it to the wrong theme. Right now we're on a specific theme, but you have to add it to each theme, which is a lot of work. Okay, so I'm going to go into themes and um, HTML, additional HTML. Okay, this is where you can add to the head if you want to add um, the site as your own. If you want to have, if you want to own it, so to speak, you can add it to Google. What else can we do here? Um, go into themes and theme settings. Under theme settings, we're going to scroll down because this is where it is. And notice what's here. Okay, you see these? Okay, we're going to add these to the top. So let's say I want to have my website. So I'm going to add Moodle for teachers. And then if you look down here, I'm going to add a bar like that. Then I'm going to add the link to the site. Okay, and you'll see what it looks like. Moodle for a tea. Okay, basically you're changing these. Okay, the social ones will appear. There we go. You can have a footer with a copyright. And depending on the theme, you can also add social networks, and they usually come at the top. So this one is the menu. Okay, so let me just, um, you can add other ones. I'm just going to get you started here. So let me scroll down so I can save it. Notice I'll have to use a scroll bar there. And then save the changes. It's not a floating, okay, uh, save bar like it is. And with some other themes. Okay, and then you'll see it at the top. Okay, there it is, Moodle for Teachers. So up here at the top, you're going to add the menu this way. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll be happy to help you out. And remember, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.